So today on Beak Sport, we are here for an event that we've never ever covered before on Beak Sport. We've never covered a live event like this on Beak Sport before. Today we're actually here for a big one, Jeff Mon versus Anthony Mundine. Never been on a boxing event before, like I just said. Even off Beak Sport, I'm really looking forward to kind of getting a feel, kind of getting a taste for the boxing industry and what it's like to actually be at the event, especially at a big stadium like Suncorp Stadium here, where we are here quite regularly for vlogs. Obviously with the Beak Sport bucket list, we've got quite a few boxing events through our lifetime on there, so I'm looking forward to getting a taste that. Bit of a weird fight, bit of a strange fight, but you know, um, you know we have fun. You know, we have fun, we go to whatever's here. Anthony Mundine in his last fight, in his last notable fight, however, Danny Green, he controversially lost a point in that one. I personally believe that he won that fight, but let's just start. Let's ignore that one before you get down the controversy side because we are about to get into another controversial result, but on the other side of things. So. Anthony Mundine obviously has an illustrious history. This is going to be pretty much his last hurrah. Dev Horn, on the other hand, he's had some big fights of late. He's a young gun Terence Crawford unfortunately he did get knocked out in the ninth or tenth round that was pretty convincing not too sure where he took that fight conversation for another day before that Manny Pacquiao which was at this stadium as well controversially won that fight so that's the other controversy there's lots of controversy in boxing right but that's just you know give or take that's just what happens in boxing Anthony Mundine is obviously the more faster you know the, the more experienced fighter really proud of his heritage and really puts everything on the line for his indigenous roots he, Jeff Horn on the other hand he's the young gun he's the he's going up against the big guns and he's really trying to make a name for himself but look enough talk Let's head to the stadium, let's have some fun, let's soak up the atmosphere, let's live your passion because that's the only way you live your life, guys. You gotta love that. I think I'll go for Jeff Horn. I think I'll go for Jeff Horn just simply because it's in Brisbane. You know, he's the local talent. He is the local talent, but let's go in there. Now let's get ready for a big one, son. Come on, Horn. We show up in the party. <laughs> I'm here with my good friend Adam, mate, uh, Jeff Horn, buddy, Anthony Mundine. I know you said Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> mate, what do you reckon of the fight? Uh, fight in general or? Well, well either way. What do you mean? Silly, <laughs> silly. fight in general, what do you mean? Well, silly, I think it's a silly fight that Jeff Horn's taking in general anyway because wins is nothing special, losers is the end of his career, so I think it's dangerous for him. Um, they're two different fighters. Um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I reckon Mundine's gonna win. So. You think Mundine's gonna win? I think Mundine's gonna win. He's playing five five to one, so I hope he probably got on the bet. I because did. he's definitely an underdog yeah, in this one. I think one. he's gonna win. Especially considering he's gonna first. <laughs> first. Now he is he's more experienced, he is the he's he's definitely gone a good length of time. But in the same sense, Jeff Horn has gone up against big opposition like Terence Crawford, um, Manny Pacquiao, and, and he's really trying to make a name of himself. Do you feel like, well obviously you said this fight wasn't what he should have taken. Who do you think he should have taken? I think he should have taken someone up and coming like himself, or someone with a little bit more, a little bit more credit to their name. If he might need, he's been there, done that, it's his last fight, it's a payday, that's it. Like, He's not really going to make anything from the fight experience-wise. Either way, win or lose. So I just think he should have stuck to someone up and come and try to build himself up after that fucking loss. But we'll see what happens. Maybe he's just trying to get back on. Back on. You know, after after a demoralising loss, you know, he did talk a lot of smack. His whole team talked a lot of smack before that Terence Crawford fight, and then he kind of came against in the, the late rounds. Maybe this could just be him kind of getting back into it and trying to get an easy Maybe win. He's an old fighter, but he's a, he's a he's pacey. Fighter. He knows how to knows how to get around. Him, you know, he's, he's swifty. Where do you think the fight is one? Do you reckon it is the pace and, and how early or late or points? Mundine's the fight's one for Mundine by wearing him out um, and picking his shots, which is where he does best. Horn's got to push it, push the fight from round one pretty much straight through. So if he doesn't get gas and if he really pushes Mundine, he'll, he'll win. So you're saying if, if, Horn, if Horn starts off well and, and, and really gives it to him, knocks if Horn down fights, the fight. If Horn fights Mundine the way he fought Pacquiao, and pushes the Which fight was the controversial. Whole, pushes the fight the whole way. He might get it. Hopefully, it's better than Danny Green. Versus. Oh, 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 yeah. Anything would be better than that. Anything be better than Danny Green versus Anthony Mundine. I'll tell you that right now. Get into it. Come on. He's the looking get on it. Ah. Get around the moment. Yeah. All I want to say is, all I want to say is, give me Mo of the moment. <laughs> give me Mo of the 
moment. I love it. That's it. Before the Horn of versus Monday Night Fight, I'm here with Sean. Mate, how are you feeling about the big fight? Monday's getting knocked out. Monday's getting knocked out straight up, you know? <laughs> what about Monday makes you so open? Yeah. In, in the fight itself, how do you think it's going to go? Do you reckon first six rounds of knockout, or do you reckon it'll go the distance? Or I reckon it'll go the distance. Round 10 of the last uh, undercard fight. I'm here with John. I think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with John. Hey, what do you reckon about the, the Mundine versus one fight? Reckon it's going to be cracker? I don't know. If you base it on what's been going on for the last few fights, it's going to be pretty slow. Yeah. I think they're just, unless Mundine can make that mouth move from his mouth to his fist. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? I was like, what's going on? He's, 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 got, he's, got, that, he's got that ability to talk, and, and so I want to see him convert that talk. I see you saying talk and talk, walk the walk. Essentially, in a much dickier fashion. Yeah, well, look, if Monday can talk the talk, how do you feel the fight's going to go? You reckon it's going to be an early knockout? You reckon it's going to go to points, or what do you reckon? Who is the scratch message? So I reckon if, if I mean Monday is a technically better, more proficient. That's what I'm looking for. But it'd be a tough call. I mean, I want I want more to come out on top. Obviously, win or lose, Mundine retires for the Barkers. Where to for Horn? It all depends on the outcome. Like, if he loses this, it's going to be pretty tough. Two! Look at Wilson! Who's your winner? Back to school. 
class. And uh, where to now for when you reckon he goes up against the big dogs? Oh, mate. Right. Up to him. <laughs> I'm here with Terence and Colton after the fight, boys. What do you reckon? Uh, I reckon it was fun. To be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't what everyone expected. You know, I thought it was going to go the half full round, top rounds, but um, it was a bit sus. You know what I mean? Like, fight in general. Waste of time, waste of money. You could see, you could see, the, you could see the shot. It was like it wasn't a really good connection. You know what I mean? Like, far out. Right? We, a lot of people pay money to come and watch an event and bring their kids and, and get this kind of shit. I mean, you get the same people when um, you did the shoot show. He went down in the first round, second round. He did. did something happen there? Is there money involved in there? Obviously, like tonight, it was Mundine's last fight. Going out like that isn't the best, but do you guys still have massive respect for him? Like, is there, is it still he's, oh, he's, he's my, my name. Oh, for a start, he's my cousin. I love, I love him for the wall. For, uh, for his career, we let's draw back. For a fight, to go down like this, Disgusting. Yes. Disgusting. Oh man, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it kind of, it kind of, you lose your kind of respect. It breaks your heart. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, you, you know in your, in your right mind that he had a lot more than what he, he could have done. Well, a lot of people thought this fight would go the rounds. If not, Monday would get the pace to, to get, get one out of you. Know I mean? Like, obviously, if you went a few more rounds, maybe Monday might have my slot in one, but unfortunately, the first, you know, like, I don't think anyone was really truly excited about that. No, no, nobody was. No, 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 <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, I'm not putting this out on your YouTube, bro. And, and look, listen, look at the fight. It explains more than what you can say. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you'd like it, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying this content. Obviously, we're not a Suncorp anymore. Obviously, it is the next day. And look, to be honest with you, there is a big reason for that. I was going to film an outro at the stadium, but, but at the stadium, it was mayhem. At the stadium after that fight, it was mayhem. And I really don't want to advertise what was basically going on after that because it was just everyone watches the fight. Obviously, they have a few drinks and they think they're buddy Rocky Balboa. So I don't want to be put in a situation where, you know, myself and Adam didn't want to be in. But anyway, enough of talking about the negative stuff. The fight last night, though, that could still be classed as negative stuff. <laughs> Obviously, Jed Paul won in the first round, in the first minute with a knockout. I have slept on it. I have seen the punch from, obviously, a close-up punch, and, and yeah. Look, it was dodgy. <laughs> it was a, it was a dodgy fight. Obviously, the atmosphere was wild. The atmosphere was awesome. And, and when Jeff Horn got the knockout, you know that was madness. By itself, you just like, you know, you're hyped up, you're hyped up, you're hyped up, and then bang, it's over in two seconds. You know, 47 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever it was. So I still had a good time, and I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog as well. If you aren't a part of the BK Army, this is just the buddy start. So we've got some big things coming. If you aren't a part of the BK Army, you're not subscribed. What are you damn well doing? What are you damn well doing? Now sit back and ask yourself what you're damn well doing because you should be subscribed. You should go and hit that subscribe button right now. And just before you go, maybe you should hit that little thing a ling a ling as well. You know, that little notification bell. So you get a notification every single time we upload some. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do us for today. Don't forget, live your passion. Hashtag live your passion. You've got to live your life like that. That's the only way. If you've got a passion, strive for it. Don't let anybody tell you you cannot do something. Live your passion. That's the way you're gonna live life. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.